Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We are doing a quick but very important call to action stream because if you if you haven't heard, there is a bit, not a bit, there's genocide going on right now in Palestine, and um, it's not cool. So if you don't know a lot about what's going on, we have some resources both that we're gonna look through and in the description. That can kind of help you get your bearings because at the very least you should stay educated on this because it's a very big thing happening in the world right now that can affect so many people and the outcome of this will affect generations. It has stopped so many people from it, it's like, so many people have been killed. Like, it, can you just show them the graphic thing? Well, I want to. I want to do a warning. I okay. don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm it's getting okay. ahead of myself. It's okay. But- but yeah, it's a very scary thing that's happening, and I think specifically from like you know we're an anti multi level marketing channel usually talk about the exploitation of workers, and I think that's where the Venn diagram is. There's exploitation um, because of the way that Israel's system is set up, and that's not to say that every and that is not to say anything about Jewish people. So it There's is a in- lot of anti-Semitism right now, as well as Islamophobia, and we think that both of those are not okay. But being anti-Zionist does not mean that you are anti-Semitic, although a lot of pe- some people are conflating the two, and some people are using one as an excuse to be the other. It's, that's not okay. It's important to call out you know, and distinguish that that is not what is happening, not what, what the goal is here. Um, so we are asking our you all to please to email congress sign petitions if you're able to go to protest to go to protest to be safe and be peaceful um phone banks are a great way to join and so i have a bunch of resources in the description in the community tab from a bit ago um this one is called ceasefiretoday.com so it's nice and easy on the top it has us actions so like i said here all the ones that i mentioned um it has where you can look on twitter there's a toolkit you click it and it has like graphics it has tips and stuff like that um this is a way where you can visit your rep's office so it emails you where how to do that if you put in your information and stuff um and then there's two places to donate and then you can call your members of congress with the script at the bottom um and then so if you want this script you can get it elsewhere um, but I think that this one is specific. So it says, my name is blank. I'm a constituent of blank. I'm calling to ask that the representative ask their name to the ceasefire now resolution led by Cori Bush and Rashiba Tlaib regarding the unfolding crisis in Gaza. It is absolutely urgent that the representative demand a ceasefire and that they call on Israel to allow humanitarian assistance into Gaza. Now, that is one of the biggest things I don't think people are talking about enough. There is not fuel going into Gaza. There is not supplies water food the projections are coming out that more people might end up passing away from disease than from bombing oh which is really scary because a lot of people have passed away from bombing and that's why it's important that we can actually get this kind of medical assistance into gaza so that that doesn't happen or we can at least prevent as many deaths as possible then if you go to the bottom it's not showing but there's international actions for canada and there's petitions and another tool Um, So this is a good resource, and I put a bunch that are central hubs like this, where it has things where you can email your congress and such. Um, So this is on Instagram. It's called the Voices of Gaza, and it just shares a bunch of Instagram accounts that are posting from Gaza or about Gaza. So some are journalists, some are people who understand the conflict, some are... um, of the diaspora who are t- speaking to their families and seeing what they are saying and then reporting back so there's a lot of good accounts that i could recommend following here um and this is in the description if you want to check it out so most of these are journalists photojournalists they're publishing videos um i would recommend using utilizing caution before you look um what take the emoji off so everyone can oh okay see. yeah yeah uh i'm gonna take the email out real quick so that you can see everything um And please utilize caution when you're looking at these Instagram pages because there's a lot of graphic information. They do their best to, like, censor 
you know, the most horrible stuff, but well, obviously... You can only censor so much during a genocide. You can only censor so much, and they are going through it, so I'm not expecting them to do, like, the trigger warnings and the, you know what yeah. I mean? If they just post it, I'm not going to be upset at them, so just please utilize caution, but that doesn't also mean, like, look away. Just look when you're able to. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have to constantly subject yourself to images of violence. I don't think that that is necessary either. But, but I also think that completely ignoring it is going to just make you paint a picture in your mind that is bad as what it actually is. I, support these Instagram accounts if you yes. can. That doesn't mean you have to interact with them all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. So these are these are good accounts that I would follow. Um, I I, I don't I don't know how to say his name. His name is Wael Wael El Adu. I think I'm saying it wrong, which I should know how to say it by now because he's incredible. He lost a lot of his family, and literally two days after, he was right back out again reporting. Like, th- th- incredible. Motaz is incredible. Plestia, Bison, a lot of these accounts are amazing. And then there's a lot of good ones here, um, and they're distinguished by educational accounts, by accounts that are posting from the ground in Gaza, and then people from the diaspora. So people that are not necessarily in Palestine, but that are posting about Palestine. So like mm-hmm. people in the US, the UK, etc. Um, so I think this is a really good count. Um, and now it's going to get more triggering. So if you're not in a good place, then please take care and just do... You can still send the emails. You can still call your representatives. And you can still do other things to educate yourself if you're yeah. not in a position to talk about loss of life. Because this is a very hard topic and I completely understand. Some people may out there may have even lost people to this, you know? So I just want to exercise as much caution as possible. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about loss of life and about the genocide and just take care of yourselves. Yeah, we're just going to... There's this one website that Val found that I think it just like... The way that they illustrate how many people have been killed, I think, really just sets it into perspective how absolutely fucking terrible it is. Because looking at a number is one thing, but seeing each individual, like, you'll see it, but, like, it's, it it just, it it makes it a lot more, I think it it hits Should we do this one first, or should we do this one? That one. Okay. So, again... Take care. If Take you're not care, able but to... also try your best because you know D- do this other is things. important. If you have so to look, try away. your best. If you have to look away, now. if you have to look, then please do other things. Yeah, not, you know, take care We're of not, yourself. Yeah, but yeah, but okay. also try to take care of the Palestinian people. Yeah, this is really important. This is super important. Okay, can I click it? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this, this is, broke me. So this is only between October seventh and October twenty sixth. Seventy sixth. So this is a month ago already, and this is everybody who was killed in Gaza from October 7th to October 26th. And that is Gaza. That is a very small portion of the the land that is there. And that doesn't include the West Bank. That doesn't include any of the other places where there is still violence happening. That doesn't include Syria, Lebanon, Egypt. There is violence happening in other countries as well. So Mm -hmm. I just want to you know, make that clear. Yeah, I'm just doing this to show you guys, like, look, each, every single, and oh, oh, would you like me to scroll? Would you like me to scroll? Because, yeah, it's fucking bad. So, and the even thing is, if you can't look at the images of violence, just look at this and realize it's fucking bad, and if you can do something about it, please do. Because this is important. Because look at all these lives. And the thing look is... Look at all these lives. They're usually numbers, unfortunately. Here, it they are images of people they have and it just makes names. it they have, they have ages. the names they have the ages you can look at every single person on here and this isn't even every single person that's been killed nope this was a month ago this was between october 7th and october 26th how many more people have died since then how many more people are added on here and how many more people have to be added on until this stops until there's a fucking ceasefire none of this humanitarian pause bullshit yeah because i saw that after the pause they're gonna bomb the strip for two yeah. more months yeah yeah. And I hope that that's not true. I hope that that's oh fucking my God. fake news. Of, but... of course I hope that's fake news, but would I be surprised based on how they've been acting? No. no. I wouldn't. Um, so yeah, call for a ceasefire if you didn't... If nothing you've seen up until now has made you want to call for a ceasefire, I hope this does. Or, because, you know, goddamn. the other thing is, like, 
so many people are forced to just move on with their lives. They are not able to stop and help, you know, in the same capacity that everybody else is. People have kids, people have work, yeah. people, you know what I mean? Like based to survive in this country, you, you have to just keep going to a degree. Yeah. So I also just want to remind people and I'm not going to, I'm not, this is not like shame fest. Like if you haven't done it yet, like you're a horrible person, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I think some people like maybe did it at the beginning and then forgot about it. Or, you know what I mean? Maybe they thought, Oh, that it, it stopped. That we don't have to talk about this anymore. Right. But that's not the case. And this is, it's only going to get worse. It seems like, and I really hope that that's not true. Um, uh, that, it just seems to be getting worse and worse. Like, so- so please call your representatives and all of everything that we're looking at and more is in the description. There's podcasts, there's videos, there's articles, etc. Because, you know, all of these people have a story. All of these people, you know, had or could have had dreams, you know, and like, I think we deserve to bear witness to those stories and to their culture and to try to do everything that we can to help them. And just the last thing real quick. Um, this is a audio memorial Basically from the exact same time frame, because um, that's actually when the Palestinian health ministry posted the list of everybody. And I don't think that they're, they're probably going to be able to keep doing this because I don't know if they have the infrastructure to anymore. Because yeah. so much has been destroyed. So many people are gone. So from October 7th to October 26th, 7,208 people were, eight lives were lost in Gaza. And it is an audio memorial to all of those names and to their ages, I believe. And it is, no, just all of their age, no, just their names. It is a 1,212 page report from the pa- Palestinian Ministry of Health. And it is an 11 hour audio recording. It takes 11 hours to read all the names. And that doesn't include what they enjoyed, their favorite place to go, their favorite drink, maybe things that we have in common, like their real story. That's just their fucking name. And we, as much as we can in the United States and in other countries, we need to bear witness and we need to help if we can. I'm not shaming you for not able to do much. If all you can do is send an email to your congressperson every week, you're doing more than a lot of other people. And it means a lot. And I think what this this says right here is really good. So can you start reading it and then I'll keep going. This memorial is dedicated to all Palestinians killed by this by state and settler violence since 1948. We understand that the Nakba catastrophe, the mass expulsion of indigenous Palestinians from their homes in 1948 to be a process rather than a singular event. Bear witness to the pain that Palestinians have been made to carry as part of this ongoing catastrophe. We bear witness to every wound they have treated, every tear they tear they have shed, and every love that and every loved one they have buried as a result of the genocidal efforts that have tried and failed to eradicate their existence. We stand in awe of Palestinian dedication to freedom and liberation. We stand in solidarity with all those who raise their voices to call for a free Palestine in our lifetime. In the most recent attacks on Gaza, Israel's indiscriminate killing of Palestinians resulted in the death of over 11,300 people, half of whom are children. Our collective of volunteers, artists, voice actors, and podcasters have come together to honor the lives, their lives, and undertake the solemn risk, solemn task, I'm sorry, of recording the names of these martyrs. The most recent list released by the Palestinian Ministry of Health, 212 pages long with 700, I'm sorry, with 7,208 names invite you to listen to every single one we hope that this effort might provide a resource for solidarity initiatives such as protests vigils marches art education etc and this is really important because i think a lot of people have like a misconception of what martyr means and they have there's a little bit of like a charged attachment with the word when it's not something charged at all in arabic a martyr is called a shaheed or a witness By saying their names, we bear witness to the lives of every single martyr. We mourn the 7,208 worlds unjustly extinguished. By saying their names, we we make a promise to free Palestine. So a martyr is anyone who died early. Yeah. Or there's there's like a, a, like there's conditions that someone would be a martyr, you know? So like if somebody like was 
in all of these situations, they would be martyrs, right? Mm-hmm. And and that doesn't mean combat oriented, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean like anything like that. It just means that they went early, and you know. And so I think people have like a there's like a chargeness to that, and it's like it doesn't have to be, you know. Yeah. It just mean it, that's just the word that they use to describe it, and I think that that's okay, and I think that yeah. we should like support that, you know. Um. If you want to see the original report, it's also in here. This is LetGazaLive.com, and all of this is in the description, so you can see the original report by the Palestinian Health Ministry, and then you can download the audio and different social media graphics. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything that we wanted to say. We just invite you to do all that. Um, There is, if you look up, what is the... I put it in the description. There is an app where you can call five people at once oh wow or you can do five calls and i think you can also do it from a browser oh nice um and so you can do like different you can call for different causes yeah so it's the five calls app so if you look up the five calls app then you can find that and then you can call different people there's lots of different um email collectives that people put together so you can send it to a bunch of reps i put that in the description as well um there anything else oh there was one thing um there's a google drive extension where you can send faxes and so i've been using that to send faxes to my representatives because if they're not going to freaking answer my emails then i will fax them okay so it's a google drive extension and the extension is called fax dot plus and you can send free faxes all you have to do is know their fax number and most representatives have it like on the website because you know they're your public representatives you are able to contact them as much as you want and you should because your tax dollars are paying them so don't feel bad about calling and one thing that i've also learned is that the the public staffers they are just noting down what you're calling about so you don't have to call with a long impassioned speech if that is making you anxious you can just say very quickly i'm calling because I believe that there should be a ceasefire in Gaza and that you should work t- to do everything that you can to do that. And that's it. And the person will say, okay, thank you. Have a nice day. And, you know, they're usually nice. So if that's a worry, then please don't. You can also, like, record yourself saying it and then play it back. Like, there's ways that you can do it if you're anxious, you know? Um, so, yeah, just do what you can. I think that's the, the main it's message. It's the main message of the, of the stream. Please Is do what you can. To do what you can um yeah it's important to me to provide resources information um if you see any as well that you think that would be good i will i'm happy to share that um but yeah basically to end it off educate yourself if you see islamophobia call it out if you see anti-semitism call it out don't just sit back and let those things happen especially in your own communities we're definitely not letting that happen we've Mm -hmm. had to kick people out because of how they've been acting during this situation um so yeah don't be afraid to stick up for yourself and what's right you know, not even yourself for what's right like it well it might be yourself but you know what i mean don't be afraid to stick up for what's right and do what you can no matter how big or small you're helping mm-hmm. yep and also Try to just learn what's happening in the world i think that this has shown me that there are so many things that are happening in the world that i have I have no idea about, literally no idea. Did not know how bad it was in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Did not know how bad it was in Sudan. Did not realize that there was a looming crisis in Venezuela and Guyana. You know what I mean? So like, I'm not saying you have to become a war correspondent and be an international like policy expert. I'm just saying like, have some kind of understanding what's going on as much as you can so that you can make smart, informed decisions, you know, with your money. Like, so that, you know, yeah, and we can all work together to try to see, okay, this is where we can make the most impact. We're not going to give these people our power. So BDS, boycott, divest, sanction is a really good one for that. And so if you want to see their boycott list, check that out. Um, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, yeah. Um, let us know, please, if you sent an email or if you sent a call because of this stream. Um, Maybe that'll encourage other people to do it too, you know, to say like, yeah. hey, I did. And then everybody can kind of feel like they're doing something together. No, um, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Um, thank you. We appreciate your kindness always. Um, this community means a lot to us. Um, 
and you know we're gonna try to get back to streaming on public more normally um things are just being things are just a little bit tough right now but our platform is important to us and you all mean a lot and so this is important thank you all for joining us